We can change the world like Google changed the world of software. We can change the world of energy. We're global leaders and we've been around for six years. The Heliotech team envisions walls, windows and entire facades generating electricity using these solar films. Thibault Le Seguillon will be taking samples along to Davos. The Frenchman is CEO of Heliotech, a Dresden-based startup that's been awarded technology pioneer status by the World Economic Forum and invited to its annual conference. The solar films could revolutionize the power generation industry of tomorrow. Le Seguillon will be a very busy man in Davos. There are also a lot of one-on-one -on -one meeting with CEOs of companies which can be our partners, our customers, our investors. And that gives me access as a startup, at a very high level in a number of very large international companies. The films are ultra-thin layers of organic molecules developed by the chief technology officer. They're made of conventional materials, including carbon and hydrogen. Unlike traditional photovoltaic cells made of silicon, they're light enough to be attached to the facades of buildings. All together, something like 40 stripes uh, with one point. The team has just fitted a tent for refugees with the new solar panels, a possible prototype for the mega cities of the future. We're talking about millions of square meters of surface worldwide that can be used for energy. The process will take several decades to be able to reach its gigawatt potential. In the clean room, they steam press the organic substances onto synthetic films, which will later convert sunlight into electricity. The cells are not yet as efficient as the inorganic silicon cells, but the gap is narrowing. The company needs to invest in growing the business. Soon they'll go into mass production of transparent films to be stuck onto windows. But the films need to be wider than the current 30 centimeters. That requires a substantial investment in new machines and at least 14 million euros in fresh capital. Investors in Europe are relatively wary when it comes to handing over so much money for a new technology. This is also the reason why we're expanding our search to China, Korea, Japan and also the U.S., where the mentality is more conducive to taking bigger risks. The CEO will be meeting potential investors at the World Economic Forum. Among the other big selling points is that the new solar films can be attached not just to buildings, but also to cars and even clothes. So what do they hope to gain from the trip to Davos? Above all, money and good contacts to potential clients. We have still a few months uh, of cash, but we need to uh, have something happen by the summer. And if it doesn't happen? Then we'll see. We'll work on a plan B and then a plan C, and there is always something. We need to be creative. And confident. That's how the American tech giants Google and Twitter got where they are. They also started small as technology pioneers at the World Economic Forum.